Welcome to the Black Accidents Club podcast. Today I have Shanto and Luke with me. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. You just did. But it, it wasn't there, so <laughs> go for it. This is, this is COA Burmy. COA Entertainment Burmy. Yeah, and CM Entertainment. That lady, anyway. That crazy lady. <laughs> yeah. Soka. All right, so what's your nicknames? Because I know you all got nicknames. What do people call you? Uh, we got a lot of names. Mine's is mine's is maniac. God, they call me nasty. Why do they call you nasty? I'm got DJ name too. <laughs> they call me DJ Casualty as well. DJ, okay, I can understand that one. All right, so first, tell us what COA stands for. So COA is Casualties of Alcohol. It all. Oh, uh, COA is Casualties of Alcohol. Um, it all originated from a beach party. That we had um, to start this summer from Army. So everybody um, from camp walked on to work Long Bay, you know, drinks, Army stuff going on, push ups, and all the rest. Then alcohol, you know, so alcohol started flowing, people started getting a little bit extra intoxicated. So it all started. What happened? Your boy, um, there's a few of them. Yeah. yeah, there's a few of them. <laughs> yeah. So, as you all know, in war, you all march out to war, do your fight, X, Y, and Z. You get hurt, become a casualty, you leave in the truck. So, being that everybody had walked from up camp down to the beach, um, the select few or whoever couldn't walk back, you know, end up being in the back of the truck, throwing up. All over the place, so Mike me Derek. and my dopey self was just like, Oh, yeah, look, it was a casualty of drinking. So, looked at, thought about the abbreviation for that COD. I was like, Yeah, uh, everybody's gonna get that confusing Call of Duty. So, I was like, Yeah, COA. Literally, like, about a whole Snapchat saved of it, where you see one Snapchat is like COD, then the next one is like COA. So, casualty of alcohol right there. No, we don't mean sprawled out on the road after a road traffic accident and all the rest. It's literally just you being in a vicinity, an event, a uh, public place, intoxicated. So that's where the away came from. But it was like a chant though, right? So it, yeah. it was more of a chant. So like, it'd be at one <laughs> friend that gets entirely mm-hmm. too intoxicated, right? And you was at that one that's mm-hmm. just like, yo, come on, bro. You had three <laughs> drinks. That's it. Why are you this way? Like? So then he was take. You see away the group. That's mm-hmm. your casualty of alcohol, basically. So mm-hmm. that's how it really started. It started as a chant. Yeah. So we would go to parties, and then we would keep seeing this, you know, recurrence yeah. of yeah. casualty of alcohol. Everybody. Look at this casualty. Look at this casualty. Look at this casualty. Mm-hmm. And then people start calling us the casualties. We're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're getting it wrong. We're not the casualties. <laughs> you are definitely the casualties. <laughs> and then um, we end up getting a hat. And then yeah. um, it just kind of went from there. Like, and then somehow DJ starts shouting it out. Because no, that all started from <laughs> us going to like part big parties and stuff, and mm-hmm. then doing our quote unquote sure. dumb stuff, yeah, antics. Yeah. So our hat actually, um, it's summer. It was yeah, yeah. Mac it's, has it. Yeah, it's summer. Um, one of the Ace Girls was away. One? The first original piece of memorabilia merchandise for COA was a hat said hashtag COA, and started wearing that around. And then it just came to something where it's like everybody we saw drunk, cool. Put, hey, it on, you put, put it this on hat on. Yeah, yeah, put, it on your, put this on your head. Took a picture of you real quick. Yeah. Bang, they let you know the Instagram. So the Instagram <laughs> we started that 2017. Um, so that was the first bit of from the hat. Mm-hmm. So that's where if you look at our pages, our page that's everybody's got tagged people, you know. So from there. Then we went away for another member's um, birthday, McCoy's birthday in July. That was his 21st. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, yes. yeah. He went away <laughs> instead of 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But literally, he, he, went, he went 21 the day we came back. So, okay. so you just sneaking him into clubs, trying to, you know, this America's America. Birthday. You know, you could. I think that's <laughs> we solidified it, though. Like, yeah. we solidified it. Everybody we saw drunk, you know. Drunk, well, people well, we in, in America, so you yeah. can, we're just acting right up, like just doing a pack <laughs> of floors lava, <laughs> act like a chicken in Taco Bell, all, all sorts, sorts of, of stuff. You know? Anyone send nothing to us, like just let us do it. It's New York, let us do it. Everyone's dumb, board, everyone's crazy like, anyway. Street anyway. Probably thought we was on heroin or some sort of substance. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> it 
we used to grill it out, drew it out. Oh, it's you're like, right, yeah, too. Just, <laughs> yeah. Some famous guys or something. <laughs> but I don't know. But yeah, so it went from there um, to now we're party promoters as well as party throwers, entertainers. Um, wherever we go, we do like carry a vibe. So we do have other party promoters and stuff that, you know, hit us up like, oh, you guys thought about, well, it started from that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you guys thought about going to this or you saw this fly? I was like, yeah, we saw it. Oh, you guys are coming? I don't know, not sure yet. Oh, how many of you is it? Five? All right, well, look, come get free tickets to the door, let you in for free. Mm. All right, cool. You know, so now we're going. Regardless, if we would have paid or not paid, we probably would have went there, got drunk, and done the same stuff we would have done if we paid or not paid anyway. Yeah. But with that, now that we started doing that, then our first party was um, 2018. We done. Was that the one at the, it's the Corpus at Mess? The mess? Yeah. yeah, the, yeah, corp- the Corpus, mess, Corpus mess. Um, official, done that's Christmas. an official CMA party. Official, right. yeah. official party. Yeah. Wasn't it? That's was a it Christmas, Christmas party. party? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had Christmas other party. ones, but it wasn't that's all your first CMA official monetary right. stuff. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so, what was that? Like, did you guys make a profit on that one? Absolutely. Yes. That Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. Absolutely. So, let's talk about like how you went through during that first party. Like, what was the process? I know those that don't know, we are all in the army together, mm. um, and we can rent out our mess. Hence the emblem. Target. <laughs> it's a rum bottle within crosshairs. So it's our little army symbolization as well as rum. Yeah. So They love rum, guys. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> don't say we don't we love rum. I mean that makes it sound a little excessive, but we like to we like to enjoy the festivities of rum. Okay, there we, we like to enjoy like the party. We, we like, like to enjoy party. festivities like and rum party. just enhances it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um to answer your question um i guess before that um we start creating a buzz with just going to parties i mean i'll right. start from there start creating a buzz from going to other people's parties and and i do believe it was um just a few people that was noticing us and stuff like why don't you guys have a party so that's how i really came about was the the public saying you guys should do a party because like you guys go to other people's parties. So turn imagine how your part is going to be. Right. So that's how they, they think it, Mahani. The process was relatively smooth because we had brought in um, um, Andre, uh, which is our, our manager now, um, previously before that, um, just to help with the logistics of it. Um, and also we brought on, um, not really brought on, we actually came on too, to, yeah. um, would be um, Coxford. And Lord Trot with um, Pitten Company. So mm-hmm. we built a relationship with them. And we this said, was oh. before this party? Or? This was, yes, it was yeah, all before, before this party. party. So, so this yeah. is, you, you're talking about Actually, summer? Or right bef- yeah, it was right before Uber. Right remember, before Uber, okay, yeah. Uber is when she started to sponsor us. Well, right yeah. before Uber is when she started to sponsor us. Yeah, and right. um, she gave us two jerseys each. This is Pitten Company? Or? Pitten Company, oh, yeah. In Coxburg. Um, so we got a black jersey and a Gray jersey. Mm-hmm. Did you just tell us good buck wall? Just wear them, wear them on Uber. You know, we had our names on the back and everything else. Right. So we went Uber, done what we do in Bermuda, uh, internationally wise, with a little bit of stipulations or whatnot. But we still. This was the cruise in November. Uh, yeah. yeah, we yes. we we put Bermuda on the map. Yeah, we put Bermuda on the map. Yes, because you guys went in the music video that was shot. On the cruise. Was we on the music? No, no, we. Not that one. No, no, no. no. This was the first soca concert. In, in the world, there has never yeah. been a soca concert inside of an airport, like yeah. Orlando's airport, That's which is massive. Okay. <laughs> um, so you had children, you had you had flight attendants, Randoms, you had I'm sure it was pilots. They're like, yo, what is happening? You had security watching us. Um, it was with, with Mr. Killer, uh, the hype man. Hype man. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty dope. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what year was it? This is that was 2018. 18. Same, okay. same, same thing. So literally, right after we left uber we was coming back to miami and just so happened mr killer was going back to miami same flight him and patrick the hype man so we had uh jbl 100 
300. 300. 300. speaker. That be kind of like finesse. Finesse to get to it. it. <laughs> because you ain't supposed to have lithium, lithium batteries. batteries when you're playing. But I told them that I had bought them bought it out there. previously. <laughs> I hadn't. I just bought it out there. And then, yeah. So, so she like, oh, okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> so we took it pretty much as a carry on. And, and no, we're walking through the airport blasting mm-hmm. this JBL 300. And that loud speakers. Like, don't get me wrong. That loud. What fresh off of Uber? What bounce? <laughs> we're listening to soca music. Mm-hmm. And then fucking see killer. Yeah, we turned the corner. And Killer was like, "Yo, so, these guys." I, <laughs> I turned on the um, turned on the speaker, put on one of his songs, like, so started playing it. So Patrick the Hype Man came with the idea, like, "Oh, let's do something," and that was that. Yeah, so just started crazy. recording and running up and down to the airport. So that run with it song, so everybody should know that is what we played in the airport, and okay. yeah, yeah, done that. He sent it. Literally right there and then to Uber Soka, they posted it right after that. So within that yeah, ten minutes, like <laughs> Bermuda was on the map. Bermuda was on the map. Okay. So so, so all of this was before Bermuda had um, Heroes Weekend. No, 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 no. Heroes Weekend, Weekend no, was no, definitely no. out. 2015. 2015. Oh, okay. 2015. All right, gotcha. Um, yeah. All right, so it started from there. So the yeah, so. So after that, um, we decided that we was going to do a party, and, it, and it's very fitting to do a Christmas party, because why not, right? It's right after right after Uber. Yeah, so we basically <laughs> linked up with Laura. We, you know, we bought the bar. We rented the, the venue. We got some crazy DJs, DJ Maestro, um, the general himself, DJ Chubb, and psh, we got us at a fat. Um, the party actually didn't, I think it was, what, from 10 to 3 or something? 10 to 3. Done. The party didn't start stop until after four, after four or, or five yeah. or something in the morning. Like, mm-hmm. and the only reason why it stopped is because my shoe's laptop um, went out. He didn't have his um, what was it? His charger, charger or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and that was the only reason why the party stopped. Like, the party mm-hmm. was crazy. Mm. Yeah, the party was dope. So, what what would you say like the upfront cost was for that party? Uh, what? How much we spent? Or? Yeah, if you can't remember. <sighs> Oh, like, well, fast, man. You got to give it. Um, 12, it was about $1,200 on the bar because we had bought the bar. It was about right. Oh, so yeah, you emptied, nice. so you emptied nice. everything. Yeah, yeah. That was already yeah. in the bar and put all, yeah. put all, all stuff. the other stuff in there. So That's we bought our own bar, put it in there. Um, DJs, the DJs was more expensive than anything, really. Mm-hmm. But that was probably at the time, any, it was probably any about 11 tops yeah. for the DJs. For the DJs. So mm-hmm. we probably put like. Um, Two grand, I'll say two. No more than two, two five yeah, in it. Two five. No more than two and five in it. For the whole entire party, decorations and stuff was all uh, fake Christmas tree that somebody had at the house. Mm-hmm. Little Christmas lights, yeah, Christmas bowls and stuff like that. Yeah, that was stuff. all, you know, all yeah. and stuff that I was already done. Yeah. But um, yeah. and that, yeah. And so what would you say tickets. like the profit was, like the takeaway? I remember the well, profit from just from the bar alone was over three grand. Yeah. Okay. It was over like three five. So That's that covered, not including the door. So that covered right. everything. Absolutely. Yeah. The bar itself just yeah. So then okay. we had the, the door door prices. Right. Door tickets. I can't as well remember as, how much we made off the door. I feel like it was like yeah. five or ten dollars. I think I helped you guys. I was sitting at the door. I know I was taking people's money. I can't I remember I helping we, you. We out. charged twenty dollars. Thirty? Twenty or thirty? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? It was twenty dollars to get in. Yeah. And then I was selling yeah. shirts. So some of the CFA shirts that I had yeah. left over yes. from Uber was selling those for thirty five. So yeah. you know, all that just went yeah. straight. We to made the profit. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we definitely made profit. Okay. Yeah. So what was the next party after that one? So I know it was a hype around it, like it was so rainy guys. That was two thousand eighteen. Two thousand nineteen. Mm, yes. Yes. Sip and Soka. It was sip, no. It was, yeah. yeah, it was the cruise. It was Sip and Soka. And then we did a Juve. Our first Sip and Soka was 2020, after the pandemic. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. It was? Yes. Oh. Remember? We didn't do a cruise? Mm-mm. 2019. Maybe it had a different name. I feel like I remember that pre-COVID. I can't yeah. remember. We wouldn't put on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to get our facts right, but um, yeah. it's out there. It's I want to say, no, it was definitely after... after um, locked on and everything else because remember, okay, when I was like, we was in camp and I was like, yo, bro, let's do a cruise. And he's like, nah, cruise ain't making money. Then I was like, look at it like this. And I broke down numbers. I was like, right now, Long Tail says that they can take 150. If we charge X amount of money, 150, mm-hmm. they charge X amount of money for the hour plus the cleanup and the um. Cleanup fee and the box rental, mm-hmm. but then on top of that, um, I can't remember how much it was exactly per hour. 
if we sell X amount of tickets at this price, we can come out of a profit. Remember COVID time, everybody was mm -hmm. locked in and everything else. So the second everybody was able to go outside, yeah, right. we threw a party. I want y'all want to say we won a first yeah, cruises out and came, um, yeah, we done pretty well. Yeah. I think we definitely had overall numbers that the government was requiring at the Don't time. Tell on ourselves, Luke. I mean, damn. I'm not What's the good news? Isn't it? Isn't the emergency act finished now? <laughs> In a couple of weeks. No, when, no, it, yeah, when, yeah. It, when it airs, it's good. It's good. That. When it airs, it's good. I shall take that back. <laughs> but it was, it was, it was a good yeah. cruise. It was definitely, definitely a good cruise. Um, so you say that was the 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 first party after the initial one. That you guys I want to say so. I want to say so. Like yeah. Or the first, COA. my first yeah. big party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we had a lot of gatherings. We had a lot of beach right. parties and stuff. But like then that. remember, um, in between then, we done the, we done the juve, the free juve. We did the when free we had, juve. Um, the group gatherings was at a hundred people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we literally put up on the page like, having a juve interested, send a DM. Cool. Literally, it been it been a hundred. <laughs> Look. The, the governor, it would have been from 50 mm -hmm. to 100. That same mm -hmm. day, it was a Thursday. Yep. That same day, we was like, all right, cool. We're doing this. We're mm -hmm. doing this. And then we put it out in, what, 24 hours? Because it was like, the yeah. party was like the next day. Three, yeah, was, the party was two days away. Oh, something like that, yeah. Two days away. We had over like 500 people hit us up. Like, yeah. like yo, I want RSVP. Like, Is this the one that was in Dockyard? Yeah. Uh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, we, it's well, fine now because we, 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 yeah. you know, we, we sorted out. We kind of got in trouble, but we didn't yeah. get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Where we thought it was public land, apparently, is owned by another yeah, facility. Somebody, somebody. And, you know, they, they found out. That. Yeah. They found out. They found out after. We cleaned up thing. nice, too. That's one yeah. thing I see the way. We don't she said if she didn't see the water truck, she wouldn't need to know. If she didn't see videos, she wouldn't need to know that there was a party there. Yeah. She literally would have just thought that it rained and the grass was wet. But that's it. That's how well we cleaned up. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know COA cleans up after them. Absolutely. Got to. Some people. Got to keep it clean. Him training. Some people, exactly. <laughs> Where do you live in Abon? All right, so. I mean, so, one of our members. <laughs> so, let's talk about the Uber, because you guys have been basically doing Uber Soka every year. Um, those, right? Well, no. it hasn't been for the last two years due to yeah. the pandemic. So, but, but what was the last one you did? Because I feel like, that was, was that the one that had the music video? Yeah. 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 So 18. we've only been on Uber Soka Fishy once. once. One time. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but we did a, a massive impact for Bermuda. And we, 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 everywhere we went, we had a Bermuda flag. We mm -hmm. had some kind of Bermuda. People knew who we were. Right. Even if they didn't know that Bermuda flag. Because like, mm -hmm. every other flag is everywhere and everybody recognized it. But Bermuda, mm -hmm. for some reason, isn't recognizable yeah. at all. So if we was doing our thing... People were coming up to us like, yo, where are you guys, you guys from? from? Like, what is that flag? Like, mm -hmm. and we would say it like, you know, Bermuda. And they were like, no, that's not Bermuda. Like, who are you guys? <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> okay. It's kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, it was like, all right, well, let's make our best foot forward right now because we're, we're the acts and we're going to tell them and we're going to sell it to who we are. Like, yeah. Okay. We'll be fun. We have fun. And yeah. you guys have your own COA flag as well, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Sure. But, but you like, you know what music video that was? Or what it's, song? It's not, a music, it's not a music. It's not a music. It wasn't a music video. Like it, was it was literally just was us acting the fool. In the, Maybe in the I'm airport. talking about something completely different now. Have you been? It was. I feel like Tatum was there because he had to. Be Tatum. Oh, so so well, you're talking about 2017 different? when Tatum was on Uber, and he done. Um, he was in the video Splinters. Okay, yeah. So we didn't was. go that yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. We didn't go that year. We went the following year. Yeah, I know. Well, I kept thinking you guys were there. That, no, that's no, uh, uh, that's that um, work. yeah, Tatum and another crew that yeah, went on that boat. Yeah, at the time. all right, got you covered. Um, let's see. So, how many parties have you guys done? One, two. Cause I know you're doing it more frequently now. Yeah, than you was. Like, well, so from 2018, <laughs> we done three parties yeah. this year. So far. Yeah, them. Does it? Three, three is a lot. Yeah, three is a lot. It's a lot behind three is, it. Three is okay. a lot. Like Let's a lot talk of, about what so, what goes into during a party. Wow. Right. So wow. as a patron, as a patron, you see a flyer and you're like, oh, who's playing? That DJ. Where is it? This place. How much is it? That much. All right. Cool. I'm going. You see who's doing it? Yeah. Bang. Damn guys, I'm going. Mm -hmm. You just come there. And is this? Like we walked to this podcast and the whole ring light, laptop, air condition, 
Absolutely. Abs- ambient lights, you know? They got some mm-hmm. nice We don't know what you had to go do to do all this. You know what I mean? Right. It's like between two ferns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just pop up and it's, it's already there. Yeah. But no, nobody really think about, unless you're a party door or event planner, think about all the setup, the logistics behind it, liquor licenses, noise permits, um, venues. Permission. Um, yeah, permissions. All the permissions. <laughs> you know, all that type of stuff. All the, and age, then, all the agencies you have to speak mm-hmm. to, um, the porta parties, the toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Um, so, the, wait, porta parties don't come with toilet paper? No. Well, well they do, but they, they don't. don't. So. They do, but they don't. <laughs> they, don't come with a, they don't come with a supply. They come they with. Don't, they just come with the one. Porta and party they don't come and, with right. so, so, basically, you have to think about everything. You didn't think about That's insurance. Crazy. So, like, mm-hmm. for your parties, your parties ain't being insured. Yeah. If anything happens, the ownership of the party, party. or the event is going to go on mm-hmm. the owner, not so much the promoter. Right. Right? So, to owner to protect themselves, they say, right, you need insurance mm-hmm. because I can't, I'm not being liable for any damages or okay. whatever that so, can potentially happen. Like, so it's it is a lot. It's a lot of financial burdens, lots mm-hmm. of headaches, a lot of late nights. Because we all have working jobs. Like we all work for a living. Like party thing is super side hustle. Like a super super du- duper side hustle. Um, but it is a lot, and it takes a lot of time and effort. Mm-hmm. But thinking, the reason why we started throwing parties for real is like it's for the people. Like that's why our prices are always low. Mm-hmm. Like we don't try to rob people at all. We really try to keep it done. And for us, our mentality is if we break even, we're one because yeah. we like to party first. Mm-hmm. So if you see us at our parties and we're not having fun yet, yeah. it's because we're, we're still working. working. <laughs> <laughs> still working. But don't worry. We're going to be out there. Yeah. So the trick behind that is more or less get the party work until the party is sustained, where it's sustaining itself, and then you can go and enjoy yourself now. Because mm-hmm. now if you leave the quote unquote organization and the setup and everything else to somebody else and it flops and the Patreon see that yeah. the first thing that they get yeah I ain't going to this next party this guy had me out in line all this time <laughs> I, yeah, they this didn't have my drink tickets they didn't have this they didn't have that nah I ain't going to another one of the parties but if we're working it we know what we want in the end detail so by the time the 75% of the people are there the whole part is already in, sustained, mm-hmm. it's doing. Now we can now kind of collapse and you know send yeah, other regroup. people out you can or regroup. whatever. And then you know we can go in. And you can move personnel around because certain stations of a party Different, you no yeah. longer need. Like, uh, right. like for instance, giveaway stations. Mm-hmm. Your first hour or two hours, everything goes. Mm-hmm. So when it goes, those people you it's can done. move around to others. Mm-hmm. But now they could be quote unquote giving shots out or they can be gotten a bottle and you may see a bottle in the COA party just being flung around in people's throats thanks to the sponsors <laughs> absolutely every <laughs> single time um, you know the front gate the, the personality security mm-hmm. they can ease up now they can be amongst the crowd as opposed to the front gate so mm-hmm. it's a lot of management as oh, okay. they always progress in an event like mm-hmm. you know what I mean what time the DJs come you know what time your bar staff need to be there set up for bars um, it, it's it's a lot time gates are opening and you need to have a schedule and and everything is 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 clockwork it's yeah. clockwork mm-hmm. but once it's on the schedule and you trust it they that's when you can have fun well a little bit of fun yeah <laughs> so i'm assuming you guys are registered business now soon in the making in the making okay. uh, soon so reach we yeah. soon reach <laughs> channel star don't try to steal it we'll just, say, we'll just say you're registered business yeah we just call it they are a registered business. So, as a <laughs> as a business entity, is it partners, one so owner, or a, or you have them? Yeah, partners. Partners. Yeah. How many in total would you say? As in, so I know it started with you two, basically, right? Well, truth it started with <laughs> the, everybody that was at the beach, <laughs> but <laughs> but moved it further. Moving it further, um, it was five hours. Okay. Um, one dropped off a little bit, mm-hmm. and then like now he's back. You know. Okay. But, yeah, um, five. Yeah, yeah. Five men. Five men. Yeah. Five men. All right. So, how's the profit split equally? Um. Yeah. I mean, think about profit is is you got to remember we're still growing. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. So everything we earn, we give mm-hmm. back to the business. Right. It's right. not. It's not about us right now. It's mm-hmm. about. Finance and what's next? What's okay. next? Where can we go? Where can we improve? 
Um, so we may buy, let's say, a generator or we may buy a flag or something like that mm-hmm. that's going to benefit us in the long run. Yeah. We need new right. shirts. You know, we need that. Mm-hmm. So it's not it's not you for us. Up with your shirts, you think, uh, bet, yeah. bet. So now you know, my little outlet there. Sure, sure. <laughs> Hats too. <laughs> you know, I'm getting into the hat game, but yeah. okay. But and then that's the thing. Like it's we're investing in ourselves. Right. First, first in our business, then in ourselves. Right. Um. Um. But when we reach that point where we can start distributing, then yeah. you know. But we always try to first break even, mm. two figure out how much money because you know, on these the parties generate profit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from that, we can plan for an extra, an extra, an extra, and just nice. keep going. Like, so we have a portfolio of events. Doing, yeah. And then once we know how much each one costs, basically, like our life is so easy mm-hmm. after that. Okay. So how do you do that math? Like someone helps you or you guys are sitting there crunching in on by yourself? No, we're, we're actually intelligent individuals. Yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> you are. <right? laughs> yeah. We, we do our, we do our, our, our yeah, math stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're in-house. More or less. More in-house. Um, we don't... I won't say we don't shop around, but it's more or less. Um, so you have your easy parties, and you have your hard parties, mm-hmm. and both of them come with a whole different spectrum of setting up, breakdown, money wise, um, decorations, all that. Mm-hmm. So it's literally like you walk into a party, you walk into an open field, and you walk in there today, but then you walk in there tonight. And it's something totally different, and it's a whole different atmosphere than you would normally see it as. Mm-hmm. You know, like when um, Carnival does Juve down at Bernard's Park, people drive across there every day. You usually see it flooded. You see no but vision. Then, yeah, there's no vision there. Anyway. Then you come to Carnival times, and you're like, oh wait, like this is that same place. It's dark, it's light, and, you know, certain areas, yeah, stuff like that. And now you don't even think of where you are. You're sliding up and down the water. Half of it's probably pouring water. Who knows? But you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. if, if that is like when we do our cruises, it's pretty much self-sustaining. The bar's already there. The bar's already set up. Um, all we do, we set up our food that we always get have, um, little giveaways that we have, and the DJ has a certain well, that little area. After that, it's... It's already no set for you, you know? Yeah. So, there ain't nothing else. Low table out the front for, you know, when people are coming on, getting wristbands or whatnot. They get on the boat, grab the food, go to the bar, get the drink, go upstairs, start partying, or party wherever you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now, you look at a juvie. That's the most recent party you guys did, right? Yes. Okay. So, the juvie was in a field that we had to barricade an area. And then with that area, we had to decorate it so that it looked attractive. Not yeah. only attractive, though. Got to make it seem like you're walking into a new world. Something different. Someone's yeah. No one's ever even done a party up at Southlands, for instance. And, and we wanted to... I mean, you looked at the video and you, you, know, you looked at your surroundings and you actually walked in. This is not Bermuda. You kind of... And I, and I think that's for every promoter going out there. They, they don't want the cookie cutter mm-hmm. promotions. Like, they, what can we do different? You know what I mean? So that's and we're party earth first. So we actually mm-hmm. knew what UVs look like. We understand how it's supposed to function. Mm-hmm. What can we make ours a little different than the rest and the others? And that's yeah. it. We just do small tweaks. Small tweaks. That's all it is. And even with that, so like when we were going out, let's say 2017, late 2017, early 2018, and stuff, we was paying to go to other people's parties, but at the same time as us going to those parties, we was doing homework. Mm-hmm. You know, so whenever we was going somewhere, we was looking it was like. What could we do in the same aspect, but to get a better, quote-unquote, outcome or a better, quote-unquote, vision of it? Yeah, where people can be like, cha, like, <laughs> this is where? Like, you know, like, it takes you back now. Like, you know where you're going, but your normal vision of it is like you just walking into a brand-new painted house. Or, like, you walk into your bedroom, and early this morning, all these walls are white. No, you got an accent wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, wait, this is somewhere totally different now. You've jazzed it up. Like, right. So that's what we try to do with our partners, you know? So with walking into that field, it's all cage link fence. Walking into that, cool. But now, on that cage link fence, we have all our sponsored stuff. We have our co-branded stuff, mm-hmm. our COA stuff with Coxburg. 
um we had up lighting we had disco bowl we had fog machine um had distribution centers for the paint and the powder um as you're walking in uh we had little red lights you know leading you up to then yeah. we had a picture wall that you got somebody to draw up and everything we decorated that we had some sorry for any vegans or people that think yeah. it's we That's had right. actual coal skulls old coal skulls you know on the edges of you know the allegedly allegedly allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> You know? um, but it was a jab juve for those who don't yes. know. Jab um, jab juve. That was just a sign of, of um, Grenada spice mash juves that they threw in. Um, we got a good oversight of it um, just over the years because we actually love the music. Like, yeah. And it's something that wasn't bored to Bermuda as of yet. So we decided, like, look, you know, what are you first? What are you good? Dude, that's candidates <laughs> for it. Like, mm-hmm. this is what we do. This is how we party. Like, um, people were. Kind of skeptical there's like ah oh, you guys doing oil you guys what are you guys yeah. trying to do like and I was like no man it's just black paint that's all like black paint you know what I mean us ourself well, I came up with a little concoction that I happened to come across on yeah, the she internet worked, she worked, it nice. worked though right yeah she worked nice. we had somebody out there that beat us even even to that you know but hey shout yeah, out to yeah. him yeah, he's man. actually from Grenada so he knows exactly what he's doing they do what they do yeah, right they we're do never it. done it but shout out to him okay. So let's talk about your sponsors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you say your first sponsor was Coxbury Fitting Company. Yeah, we actually went to all the liquor companies because of our name, mm-hmm. Casualty of Alcohol. It's like, right. cool, like, you know, hey, what this group, we do this, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. Are you, you know, yeah. looking for anybody to sponsor X, Y, and Z? Fitting yeah. Company was definitely a more like, attractive deal. Yeah. And Laura was somebody to. Laura no understands sponsor. people too. Like Laura yeah. understands like these small groups coming up. Like she mm-hmm. she deals with other dance groups, like dancehall groups, and mm-hmm. um, like those type of things. And um, she, also we like a project for her, like you know what I mean. And um, it's easy for us to promote something that we actually do and enjoy. Like right. right. Um, so Coxpur through Pitt and Company were affiliated with Coxpur. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say that we're not directly involved with Coxpur as of yet, so. but we're working on that deal. Oh, um, okay. And then we're working with something with BG as well. But for now, it's mainly just through Pitt and Company, Pitt and Company. with mm-hmm. Coxfair. Yeah. Because they gave you the splash stuff. Yeah. So Be- any- was, that, was that like before it actually came out? Because I feel like that's the first time I had it. Or I saw it. The splash. Is that one of your parties? No. no I think Open. it was out before. but It was out it before. But it, it probably was wasn't nerd. as right. Right. It was probably fresh out. Mm-hmm. But um, like, whenever something new Coxfair hears... So like the rum punch that's out now, the Coxper Red yeah, Rum Punch. The so like we were actually one of the first in Bermuda to taste it. So okay. when it came here, we had a meeting with Laura. It's like, look, you guys come over, da da da, whatever. Sat down, tasted it. The stuff's well. <laughs> it's dangerous, but it's yeah, well. She's, you know what I mean? Serious. <laughs> it's actually a promotion going out on that, like trying to get it, get his name with that. So okay. if you used to take a picture, take. Take Coxbury Rum and Pitt and Company, then post it. Then it goes to judges or whatnot to get um, judged, mm-hmm. and then you you put oh, your name you. on there. So you say Satis Coxbury Rum Punch, and you get the whole next years of production on mm-hmm. that label. And you, so you get to go away and all that. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. Take you away for so the, you guys are put into October, October, um, the rum. It's, that's this month. Yeah, no, it, I think it's. Is it this month? I want to say she said October. Mm. The rum, the rum festival. Yeah, it's a rum okay. festival. Yeah, down the island. So, go away for that. I we would love to do it. We would love to win it. Let's say that. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I feel if, right, like, if, if we was to win it, it would be like, like these guys. It's man. to the point people ask me now. It's like, oh, like you know, when you guys came with that rum punch, you're like, I'm like, what is rum punch? Us. Like I make my I make my my pineapple sherbet, but it's yes. like, oh. When you came up with that rum punch, like it ain't ours. No, it's just cost I mean, like, <laughs> if you win it and you want to give it over, then yeah, I'll take the name. Right. You know, it would it if it ain't nothing that we're done lit yet. If we was to win that Coxburgh COA rum punch for the next year of production, right. and you win a case every month, or you get I'm not even win, you get a case every month for the next whole next year. So <laughs> why well, wouldn't we? Year. Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like I would love to win that, but. You know, I haven't even participated in it only because of I don't even want the quote unquote it's a, possibility. It's a conflict like, of interest. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so 
What else can I say just now? Do you have any other sponsors? Like continuously spo- continuous sponsors? Yeah. So cost versus main ourself. <laughs> we sponsor ourselves. We sponsor ourselves. And like financial parts Independent For the most part Yeah It's, it's all us like Would you me and, Would you guys be know. open to investors Or no To, to help you See the thing about in, Investment in, yeah. for, for this kind of event um, it, it would We would need to Go bigger with our partners Yeah mm. um, So Red Fat was Was pretty big for us mm. But That's the one That was at um, um, That was Cut Match Cut Match Thursday. Thursday Right So we had over a thousand people there But the same mechanics of a small party. That's mm-hmm. I, that's basically what it takes. Like for us to ask for an investor for funds, mm-hmm. I, I feel like I would have to justify why I'm asking for, for it. Um, like I'm not bringing an artist here. I'm not bringing a DJ overseas. Mm-hmm. But if I was, I would say like, right, if you bring this guy in, then um, you know you can you add you at the top sponsor or whatever. Or if he wants money back, then to be it or whatever, whatever the agreement is. But that's that's pretty much what the conversation would be like. Well, yeah. you want to sponsor us? What what do you want back, or what do you want from us? Mm-hmm. You know. So if it's oh well, you know, we sponsor you, but you have to wear the shirts that I give you, hats that I give you. Yeah. Have to put our flyers, our banners up. You know, something like that. It, it's it's simple stuff, yeah, but I mean, like, okay, it. cool. Then what do we get out of it? Regardless, if you used to give it to us or not. We're probably gonna do that anyway, right. but it just jazzes up the place a little bit. Okay. You know? Yeah, at, at the moment we're not looking at investments, investors yeah. for our events. Yeah. But I mean, I was told um, by another promoter like, if someone's giving you money, take it. Yeah. Mm. So it, when that same accord, like it's <laughs> it is you know, literally mean. just the the give and take. Like, okay, hey, yeah, what you guys do? Oh, they're partners. Well, here, take five grand. And look at it like okay for what and if you're just like oh nothing like you know do what you gotta do like you know mm. whatever what you want back like I'm gonna have a plethora of questions after that because I'm like nothing in life's free you know what I mean yeah. so if you just give me five grand and you're not expecting nothing back I'm the type of guy alright cool well come when I, right like something. whenever I do get that hundred grand now that I know that that five grand ain't gonna really Dent the pocket if we lose it. Hey, yo, remember you done that? Dude? Here, look, take that back. I mean, but the five grand for like for, for an event will be crucial because right. we don't have to come out of uh, savings. Pocket. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, we can actually just use it for just regular stuff. If we're buying a bar or mm-hmm. for flags or cups or you know whatever exactly. apparel or whatever we want to sell at the event, mm-hmm. and then probably just put their name and and, mm-hmm. and that could just be it. Like yeah, um, as advertisement, uh, but it's. At the moment, we're not looking at it right now, but I'm sure in the future we will be most definitely. Okay, so one more question: Do you guys see yourself during parties outside of Bermuda? We thought about it. Yeah, but we we kind of want to master. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, master is not the right word. We kind of want to establish ourselves here, mm-hmm. and it it does for me at least, for us anyway. It doesn't make sense to move away if nobody knows it's her. Like you know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a sellout kind of thing. Yeah. Well, Bermudians. If like, we go away. You know. Unless we go away and we hire all the top DJs that's out there already, mm-hmm. whereas like they already have the following, you know, even like right. the DJs here, you know, everybody, all the DJs here have their own following. Mm-hmm. You find out Cadiz is playing at Social Club on Fridays, and you follow him. What you gonna be doing on a Friday? If you ain't got nothing else, you get around there to listen to him play. You right. know what I mean? So out there, let's say New York, most of the DJs that come Bermuda live in New York or from New York so you go out there we find a proper venue rent that out hit them guys managers up hire them for the night cool we're probably gonna end up having all the following at the party mm-hmm. would it be successful more than likely you know what I mean we probably have to be out there two days before set up or whatever put our own little Bermuda touch to it right and see but the, then the issue with that is is it Bermudian now is it CLA right. now so that's that's the the two sides of it. We never mm-hmm. use antics to promote our parties. Like for antics, I say, um, a, a, a one promoter will bring so, in a DJ, right? right? Mm-hmm. And then through that DJ's name, he gets you following out of respect with it for that person. Right. But COA just goes over us. Like it's us. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you like our vibe in a party, then it's like cool. I can go to this party because it's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm looking for. The crazy fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a quote that said, "COA is like the dark side of circle." We're not the grooviness, we're not the elegance, you know what I mean? 
one of the ones where you had a long week and you kind of just want to rock out. And <laughs> and then, yeah, that, that's why we're basically, you know what I mean? You can go home to your children afterwards. But, <laughs> um, but it's it's getting our personality and understanding what we can what do we for do. her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's a potential of going away. Now, if you if they want us at their party away, then we can give them the whole Ramita experience. Yeah, okay. the whole CUA experience. I like now. Let's say that investor, for instance, is from New York, and they have a quote unquote liaison here in Bermuda, and they're just like, hey, look, like we just need like a little hype crew, like up at up at this one party in New York. Like, oh, you know what? Let me get you in touch with somebody. They hit us up. Yeah, what you guys are doing on this weekend? Mm, nothing. Chilling. Whatever. All right, cool. Want to go to New York? Sure. Mm. Why not? No. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, look, I'm going to fly you guys out. Then they give us the rundown. Look, got this promoter, X, Y, and Z. These DJs, this artist, da 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 is going to be there. We just need a hype crew to, you know, get the people of the party involved. And that's what we're really known for because, well, in Bermuda anyway, anyway in Bermuda... The average person is going to go to a party. Everyone's going to be in their own bubbles and be just chilling. But then you see a group of people over here doing a whole pile of foolishness. And you're like, you know what? I'm tired of just chilling. Let's go have fun. So now you've got you know, more people. So you're more interacting, you know? Mm-hmm. So out there, it will kind of be, I want to say harder because of the simple fact of her, we pretty much know somebody. So, like, hey, let's go, like you know, or you know, we'll run around. We're gonna pick up somebody or pick up something. Whatever, I mean, somebody's there, yo, out there. Always. If everyone's on that on that mellow level, uh, how are we gonna get them engaged? Unless we see somebody else hyping up over there, then we're either gonna move to them or they're gonna bring us to them. I mean, but you know, behavior That's is, is 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 um, um, contagious, right? It so, is. especially a smile. Smile is contagious, right? You're right. So, like, the first two hours of a party is always a word zone, word, right? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know you. Plot. It's watchy, watchy. Even for circle parties, mm-hmm. it's like, ah, what the hell's going on? Like, <laughs> so if you had that person that's just bumping shoulders and, and kind of like touching people, and oh, these guys are fun, or oh, they're, they're starting to dance. Now it's easier for other people to join in. So, mm-hmm. what do you, you could say? We can start if what? Yeah. And then the crowd Carry takes it. you live from yeah. there. Like the crowd does every day. But see, I mean, that's where DJs come in. So like you heard our name our name a lot doing like a lot of part of and stuff, on, you yeah. know what I mean? The warm ups or when it's a interactive song, you know? So um like Tornado for instance. Um Pick up or yeah, Touch let's say striker. let's say run run with it. You run know? It. You'll always find us with something arbitrary to the party that well, where the heck did they get this well, 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 well can we speak on that the whole one see you see pick up something <laughs> those don't know is, is a song about actually picking up an object in the party mm-hmm. and basically just moving with it right yeah could be a girl it could be anything but top striker came up from um yeah. from nati and dunda and then guys mm-hmm. and and for us that was our pick up something so that yeah. was 2017 or 18 or one two years 18 that's when i ran away with my nana Okay, so um, um, that pick up something come to afterwards, right? So basically, we were doing that to that song, and people were like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> so, like, we showed up to parties with canoe. Well, we didn't show up to parties with canoe. We oh, find the canoes the any, ep- ep- for some reason. <laughs> we're, we're, Kayak. we're following like five Two. of these things at these parties. Yeah. I mean, people just leave things. I, I swear the promoters are leaving them in the bushes for us. Bringing them there. So, we are like, we'll be leaving the bushes. Where's the first one? <laughs> I don't know. White Island. <laughs> Oh, White yeah, Island yeah. for Fantasy Island, Party yeah, People's Fantasy Party. Um, Out of the blue, you know, the song came on. We saw it. Just like, that's like party. walking to the bathroom or something. And just saw it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. And then Not thinking about it. More. Then the song came on. It was like, hey, remember that kayak we saw up to you? Let's go get that. Top the screen. Now, us being drunk, just good, doing something. Grab it. Just what happened. A girl gets on top. Okay, cool. <laughs> now she's on top. Center vibes. of attraction, yeah, vibes, though, you know. Vibes. That's another acronym vibes. that we found for COA. <laughs> center of attraction, you know. <laughs> center of attention, whatever. Ch- but no, man. children of the angels. Children, yes. Blessings, blessings, blessings being in name. Blessings you, <laughs> of the Most High Shekinah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> oh, you guys are um, <laughs> Literally, that party. There's two girls actually up on the kayak, 
and it gets heavy too. It does. People, Kayak by itself is heavy. People don't realize that, dear. Yeah. But you want to be on top of it, bouncing, dancing up and down. One girl decided to stand up, lost her balance. She is okay though. It wasn't our fault she fell. We don't drop girls. We don't. We, we don't, don't. We don't drop anybody. We haven't dropped anybody. <laughs> they jump over <laughs> us. They jump off. They slide themselves. up. Yeah. It's not <laughs> we, what to do with us. We're not you see us? We're here. We're, we're stationed. If you decide to do something other than that, what can we do for you? Because we don't know your intention. And we're very safe in your parties. We try our best. We got to shoot big on and stuff. In, in, in yes. And you know what? Everyone always assumes that we're, I guess, what, negligent with our big on? No, yeah. we're not. We're taller than most. Very intense. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. our arms get extended fully, and then we spray upwards. Up mm-hmm. and it's always up and up. Yeah, so the girls and with the more than arms. likely, if it's people standing right <laughs> next to us that we don't, like no, we'll definitely give you a full warning. Like, hey, like we're about to, we're about to you know spray some fire real quick. If you want to step a few steps forward, because we're already at our LOV at the back, you know, and it'll probably be better on you. Or if you don't mind, we're blazing three seconds, like three, two, and they're going up. Ah! Yeah, every, everybody everybody right, knows, like everybody yeah. definitely knows. Full warning. Are you yeah, guys the ones that started that? that no. Part is? no, 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 no. Not in so in, in Bermuda. Bermuda. Dance or I say I say reggae, reggae first. Reggae, yes, reggae, reggae. Um, um, especially in the clashes, mm-hmm. you always and back in the nineties, like was very prevalent. You always had one or two, um, but I think it died off just because it's it becomes an animosity thing about it. The, mm-hmm. the promoters don't want it in the parties, whatever it was. But it was like a dead zone, right, for years and years and years. Um, and then you know we start really hitting soca heavy, like and. We're still from that dancehall era. Like that's mm-hmm. that's what we love. We love reggae. We love dancehall first. Mm-hmm. Um, so we ended up just putting it in the soca, and it just it just went crazy. So, <laughs> um, so in Bermuda, you would only see COA doing it. Like, but other yeah. people seeing us, they, it they bring it. Like, yeah. Uh, but if you see somebody else who getting burnt, that's not us. Yeah, because <laughs> we carry ourselves in the office. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like there has been a few little inc- incidents, but Angus. it wasn't. Man, class. Yeah, it's other people. It wasn't oh, nothing definitely. that we can do. Like carnival just going, we got to Juve and it was somebody blazing fire, and we're looking. We're like, well, everybody blazes fires right here. Yeah. Oh, one of them other guys will probably hear you already. Like, okay, cool. It's By the time us. we got up there, it's like, well, it's a whole different person. All right, cool. Bang. <laughs> Nobody's blazing fire until he runs out. Like, and he only had one can. So <laughs> before the party even got lit. He was he all out. And we Brett, had backpack. And what <laughs> people don't understand is, you guys may think, we've got one can. No. Done. Each person's got at least five cans of big one. <laughs> so we're spraying fire all, all night. night. And we know all the music that's being played. So yep. we know what's hot and what's not. We ain't, fire, we ain't blazing to nothing. Just that's regular. Just average stuff. You like, <laughs> know what I mean? Like, groovy? <laughs> you would never see fire. Ever. Ever. Yeah. There's not one groovy song that I say that I'll blaze fire to. Nah, the crazy stuff, the stuff no. that we like and yes. enjoy, like you know, it's a, all it's the a hype poet, music, poet, like. power, all of that. Yes, you would definitely get it. So, if you don't want to be involved with the fire, once you start hearing that, ding 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 ding, ding like, and you know that it's starting to go into that you power stuff, crazy people. <laughs> you know, it's all right. Yep, these guys are right here. I know what's coming. And then no, you're probably going to end up seeing us because we all start tapping each other. Yep. You start seeing little backpacks come off. And, and you yeah. start seeing some. And no, look, that, that one person see, with a light in like their hand. One person. <laughs> one person. Just who is it like that deal? Waiting. waiting for the drop. <laughs> and once the drop comes, you see the big, stupid flower. So they're crazy. Like, like, people <laughs> dropping up in the bun. <laughs> dun, 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 and that's it. You know, so <laughs> if in the event you don't want to be involved in it and you're at a sober party and you're all into the groovy and you're enjoying yourself and we just so happen to be three feet behind you and then it starts to speed up and speed up and pick up and just pick up me. and then it's like, yeah, it's that time. Just be like, be cautious because we're, we're definitely going to be cautious but if you're a little ways away we're from us, cautious. we're already very saying cool. like, cool, the safe distance. I can't touch you with my arm. The flame's about two and a half, three feet. That ain't going to touch you. Yes, you're going to feel the heat. You're not going to get singed. Nothing like that. But you're going to feel the heat from it. You know what I mean? So we're going up. <laughs> we're going up. If you there or not. 
that's funny. But we definitely do take consideration. Understanding you girls have all these different products and all that in your hair. Don't look at me. We, I'm just saying. You, you're, you're natural. You know, you know natural. I'm not natural. 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 The most like a weave, you buy that thing again. If it's a little Malaysian, yeah, well, yeah, that weave can go tail, up, dog. You know? you know I don't that. know. That weave can go up, dog. <laughs> but and you, know, you buy that her. again. You ain't you ain't growing your hair back as much as you can see in a track. Yeah, the power drive her, Randy Ron. You know what I mean? Put some mulch, everything wrong. Her get that up. <laughs> Miracle grow. <laughs> but you know what I mean? We definitely we understand that some hair products are flammable. Right. Do we know? No. Why? We don't use them have girlfriends and stuff but do we work oh babe let me use that um the pink conditioner nope. like i don't know what that is nope. i know i use my little blue her magic i don't know if it's flammable if it is it is I, my head ain't killed on fire yet so what i use is fine what you use i don't know i don't even know what girl her <laughs> product is flammable to say like hey do you don't use you. Don't use this when you come to the Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Oh, do you use no, the... We're not um, close. We're not African, close. Right, right, right. You know? Our arms are fully... Like, it's we nobody this and tall. And you always do it up. Anyway. Yeah, it's nobody yeah. this tall for one. And then the flame is up. Like. Unless just so happen, you're coming from running from behind us and you're on somebody's shoulders and the person that's shoulders you're on runs in between yeah, us. that's not gonna You're going to get caught. <laughs> and you can it run, hasn't happened you yet. You can run right through the fire. Like, it's yeah. not that hot. It's, it's really not that hot. Yeah. Like, but... It, in the end of the day, we won't know until, oh, it's a ball of fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you just heard it scream. But I mean, we do take risk factors. Uh, we, we take risk factors. So, like, before we do something, we think about it first. Okay. It was uh, never really like way before when we first started. But now, you have to. Would you guys say that you're yeah, internationally recognized by other like DJs and stuff like that? Yes. So when they come to Bermuda, they ensure that you're at the parties? Well, more than sense. likely, we're going to be at the party anyway. Yeah, right. But when they do come to Bermuda and they see us, they know us. You know, yeah. so, oh, yo. We'll like, the and, they sh- and they show yeah. you. Show you guys up. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, Definitely. for sure. Like, because Bermuda's so small, like, yeah. and, um, and they always, they may not know us, or they may not remember us when you guys go away, mm-hmm. but when the her is like, oh, I, I see remember away, these guys. I mm-hmm. exactly. That's the crazy yeah. crew. Like, and, and so normally they just say, yo, what one see away? Like, mm-hmm. you know what right. I mean? So they definitely know us. Well, the ones that come here know us. Yeah. Okay. You guys have a song now, I heard. No, we don't have a song. We, we have some well, dubs. We have a song? Well, you know what? Um, cautious. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So like, we call that like a dub. Okay. You know, yeah, we so, got dubs. Yeah, we got a few so what dubs. Are dubs? Oh, um, it's more or less an artist off of their song. Um, so um, Kush's song "Run Road." Mm-hmm. Instead of him just saying we're gonna take over the streets and run road, he's saying "COA take over the streets and run road." You know, um, "Fire Wayne song." Um, well, yeah, we got we got a lot same, of different same things. Just puts all you put all our names out in the front. And then he's shouting out COA throughout the song. Right. Um, got some from some major artists. Um, Andy Water, Child Minister, um, you know, so stuff like that. So it's different DJs, but I mean, uh, not DJs, sorry, different artists mm-hmm. that you just reach out to, tell them you want to dub, pay for it, you got okay. it. So what's that? What's like the course of that? Or does that depend on the, on the, the artist? Course? Yeah. Um, the course is is small. It's it's minuscule in in so it in the is, light it of it. Changing a few words. Um, so it's a it's a remix. It could be it, yeah. you can get the whole song dubbed if you want, okay. but it normally doesn't happen like that. It's normally the introduction, the main chorus, and then like the the main verse, mm-hmm. and then it will snap into the actual song itself. Like, okay. but what you get with the Jamaican artists, for instance, they will they will sing your, the whole song. Mm. Um, so they wouldn't cut the new song or the the original the song, song in. Song. They'll do the mm. whole song for you. And okay. they just throw your names, or they put maniac in there. They might put roots, you know, stand. They might put all all well, C O A names mm-hmm. incorporate into the song into itself. The song. So it becomes your song, but, and uh, and nobody else can like play it because our it's names just flooded all through. So yeah. it's right. it's, a, it's an original song from the artist that's remixed mm. to fit your idea. Like that's basically it's more or less like is. DJ drops and stuff. Okay. So you have it coming from his voice, that artist's voice, 
saying, oh, yeah, big up DJ Casualty, da da da, and then a good song. Or he have drops, yeah. you know, where it's his saying different stuff, like, big walk on COA, and it's, that's something that you could just play while mm-hmm. you're playing your own music or whatever, yeah. but your name's getting out there from, right. you know, mm-hmm. the other DJs and stuff. But it's time is stuff, like, it's, yeah. you, you can't put a price tag on, I always say you can't put a price tag on happiness, but yeah. a dub from an from like your favorite artists or an any normal moment like for instance in the water um we hit up Charles minister his he's an artist um uh, from saint vinci mm-hmm. um yeah that fact going on so we needed a wicked song, song like the too. hottest water song at the moment mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. going to basically solidify the whole the video of it after the fact and um yeah any water so if you look on the instagram um at our that video it's you will hear it right yeah so it's, it's it's pretty but mm-hmm. i mean so it's a timeless moment so can't put a price on it. All right. So you spoke about a video just now. Do you guys like hire people to video your party so that we use it for promotional purposes? Yeah. yeah. Yes. We just started doing that. Some of what we spoke about. Mm-hmm. Um, we eat. Really, this is what we need. This is what we need. <laughs> you guys go away, especially her. We can probably kind of do. But when we go away. We need a videographer with us. Mm. Basically, just capture. To capture the everything. Yeah. Was stupid. Like we guys are doing something so dopey, and no one's put the phone out. So like mm-hmm. it didn't happen. Like, but. We do fun stuff, like we do make it cool stuff, we can vlog and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But and it is always hard because we're always doing it. So we never have our phones doing it. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's always if if that happens, it means like one person's out. One person step back and mm-hmm. just so happens video. to see it happening yeah. over here and it's like, Oh, grab the phone and they catch it. Or most times some well, nine out of ten of the times we always rely on somebody else that's you know posted something or whatever right. hey send me that video and then it's we see it now yeah, we we'll have it you know we'll be able to post yeah, yeah. Okay. I, right. I put up a lot of posts today you saw it oh oh yeah yeah that, yeah. that was put up a whole tbt it's like <laughs> yeah. sitting on lunch <laughs> break post, like, and i'm like <laughs> we need a tbt so, yeah, you know what? it's is there it is we were busy like outside of right. CLA, like um so with that we got to get on I, I, what do you do for work? No, no oh. never mind. Black that <laughs> no, question. <laughs> that blocked that question. Rewind five he seconds. Why you need to let him finish, man? Jeez. No, because it's come back to me. I know Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I know very well. <laughs> I know Luke too well. <laughs> what do you do for work? Nah, I don't worry about all that. <laughs> all right, so um, <laughs> is there anything that we haven't covered that you want to talk about? That we haven't covered um, our, our FOE right now. We're pretty much done with parties for the year. Um, our next quote unquote gathering, which isn't a profitable thing, is just fun, man. us being fun, fun, is our polar jump, and that's Christmas Day. You guys see that every year, every when year for the last thought? five years, yeah. Pretty much 2018, every that's 17, same year, 17, 17, yeah. 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah, it was, was 17. 17. It, it was, was 17 because 17. 17 is when we went away, when we had our, um, when we was doing all the tag and stuff with the hat. And then you had the first Christmas party. That was 2018. Okay, my okay. Yeah. But 17, just like you, Christmas. We guys are getting, we guys are getting swimming Christmas Day. I was like, nobody's getting some, like that. Nah, we guys are getting swimming Christmas Day. So yeah, bring a bottle. It's gotten bigger and bigger every year. It is. Yeah, it's fun. Like, yeah. It's really fun. I would tell you, bring your children, you know, bring your. Yeah. Bring your cakes, whatever, cassava pie, you know what I mean? We're hungry. We don't stay that long. No, we don't. We stay for like hour and a <laughs> two half. Two hours. Like, yeah, we get there early, max. like 8 o'clock. Nine, we're going yeah, by, it's like 9 o'clock. Yeah, we're going by 10, 11. Because you think about it. What do you do on Christmas morning? You don't do nothing. You Open really don't. presents. You don't. I didn't, okay, but after that, you don't, what are you doing? Really you do as an adult. I mean, if you you have presents, the right. children, stuff like that. Right. I mean, you know? Bring your kids. Che- bring your kids. Yeah. Because we had mates um, bring their kids. Bring the and I got like the pajamas and all of that. Yeah. And they hop in the water with us. Mm-hmm. Dogs, everything. Bring <laughs> yeah, it on. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, dude. Definitely. Hey, I think I'm going to give me What's- Canada Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> oh, fact. We're doing it without you. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had we had um What's the name video of the call you. you guys go to? Spithead. Yeah. Spithead up um on Harbor Road there. Okay. All right, but, so uh, I'll get you each answer your questions. Um what advice would you give to eighteen year old you about throwing part as entertainment? Eighteen year old me? Yep. Like if that if they're trying to pursue that as like a oh, eight- side hustle or a career, so 
You're giving advice to someone that's 18 year 18 years old and wants to be a promoter Get into. or something like that. Because <laughs> for those that are listening that aren't in Bermuda, our drinking <laughs> age is 18, Keep so it. we can. Yeah. <laughs> so technically, we can start doing that at 18. All right. So before you even want to throw a party, you want to have a following. You want to have some type of following because. To come out and throw a party, unless you have a plethora of money that you just want to get rid of and you don't care if you take a loss, hey, throw as much parties as you want. You're just going to be known as that guy that throws parties that nobody goes to. You know what I mean? But if you're 18 and you're not like, all right, so in school, you, you're just graduating from Cedar Bridge, Barclay, Work Academy, Salters, whatever, Mount St. Agnes. If you was just a kid that had like three or four friends, but you know you spoke to other people or whatever, cool. You throw a party, it's probably not going to be that successful. You know, you're probably going to have them three or four friends and maybe one or two others. But now, if you was the popular kid in school at 18, by the time you graduate and you're throwing a party, everybody's coming because why? You're the most popular kid in school. Everybody knows you. You know what I mean? Well, so you have to be you or that. Like that. Co- right. You almost have that quote-unquote following now that if you was to have a party people want to be there because they know you or you know like you you carry a different energy or vibe like i would say i would say for that question is link up with the people that's over that you look up to or you may admire or the reason why you're getting into the industry and and actually just pick up brands um yeah we had a few promoters over the years like we guys sat down from and they just poured knowledge into me guys. Mm-hmm. Like, don't think that this what they see today is <laughs> is came overnight. Yeah, like yo, <laughs> like like we had we had we had greats like mm-hmm. like Ronaldo, for instance. Yeah, like, definitely. Like these are proper individuals that's been in part of for They're years, for years, for and years, and years and years and years. Big massive parts of Bermuda, and we are just privileged just to be a student of of the crafts. And it's mm-hmm. it's a lot of different promoters like just like him. Like, um, that's just. No, the dunders, the dunder mm. thing. It's it's mm-hmm. it's not a lot of time. So, yeah, so sit down and, done, and, and take time. everything in, listen, learn, adapt, get your following, mm-hmm. go to parties, learn, adapt, and then come up with your strategy. Right. To to find a three a party. And always try to incorporate something new or different to make your party more attractive. Yeah. And keep it low, man. Keep yeah. the prices low, man. Yeah. Think about the pockets. Because as popular as you are, as good as your party may be, as good as your DJs might be, not everybody is going to be like, yeah, I could lose $100 tonight. You losing $100, as, as he said earlier, like you can't put a price tag on happiness. Yes, you're probably enjoying yourself, but you already paid that $100. It's not open bar. So you're buying drinks. You're buying food afterwards. You're going back out, buying another drink. You know, so you spent probably three, four hundred dollars in that night, two hundred, two fifty, whatever, in that night alone. You're not getting that back unless on that boat you made a bet or something. You won, whatever that party. You know, so you got that money back. But if you're going to do that, like, think about what you're willing to pay for a party that you're throwing. You know, once you once you're saying, okay, well, you know, what am I getting with this party? I go on this cruise. I know I'm getting food. I'm getting walk around shots. I'm getting entertainment. I'm getting vibe. I'm getting um, commodity with other people, meeting other people. I'll pay give sixty dollars for that. Yeah, give me give me this party favors. Yeah, You're I'll pay sixty dollars for that. But now, if that same party was hundred and twenty dollars, it's not open bar. Now you're saying like, all right. That food and stuff for like that, I could probably just go buzz. Um, the drinks, I could buy three bottles home. I I, I can miss this one. I, right. The only thing you're really missing out on is the commodity and the, the vibe of the party. You know what I mean? But you're saving your pocket when you look at it that way. So if you make the price reasonable, where you're saying like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'll pay that to go to this. You know, mm-hmm. I'll pay that. It's like buying a pair of shoes. Like these are brand new Jordans. Oh, the 500 though. Huh. For me to walk outside, that's why people probably getting fights in Jordans. Cause they're saying I spent my last five hundred dollars on these Jordans, and 
bra just came and spilt his whole Hennessy and Coke on my drink. On my, on my, on my shoes. Keep now. your expensive shoes away from COA parties. Yeah, there's definitely stuff to get spilled. That's some bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't come dressed in heels. Mm. No. Take Never. a bath. Never. Wear something comfortable. Comfortable shoes. Jordans. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not the guy to fight over my shoes. Yeah, I spend money on my shoes, but the shoes, what am I wearing? I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I was going to spend all that money on a pair of shoes, I'm literally walking straight-footed. I'm not moving. I'm not walking around. I'm, then I'm probably not even going to go to that type of event. That's Instagram. That's what that is. Instagram satisfaction. Stand up and take a picture of them, take them right back out and put them back in the pl- paper and the box. Like, it don't make sense. I'll spend two fifty on a pair of shoes, walk around, go to a party afterwards, whatever. Probably the first day I wear them, I'll probably be at a party. Hey, you got to know, if you want to wear shoes, take care of them. You know what I mean? Mm. Clean them, whatever. Put them back. <laughs> <laughs> Do it all over again. Like. All right. Would you guys consider yourself entrepreneurs in this business venture? Mm, up and coming um, entrepreneurs. Up and coming. All right. I mean, well... I guess you entrepreneur. Can. I guess you can. Because we, we created you it. We, we created it. We, we created this. Yeah. This is, this Define is all entrepreneur. Us. This is all like, us. Where do you... It wouldn't be no CEO before you guys. Yeah, right. they, this is us. Like. I mean, there were other groups that started, you they know, tried. to... Well, yeah. They tried. Started to do what we do. But, I mean, when you come with... Uh, uh, we got a plan, man. A group of friends that have almost all the same idea and have all the same energy is nothing else but greatness like <laughs> there's nowhere else you can go you can't fail when you have like-minded individuals yeah you know and you can surround yourself and with brethren first right this ain't like just business partners exactly. or whatever like we're brethren yeah. like you can't fall out because <laughs> you didn't hurl up yeah in the bargain yeah i'm gonna tell you off because <laughs> I'm going to tell that's you what what that's what do. brethren's do. That's what like, do. Like, who each other accountable? If I can't do it to you, then nobody can. Like, who are your brethren to talk to you? Yeah. Without fighting. Yeah. Even if it's a fight, we're probably getting, yo, bro, like, squash yeah. dead this stuff. Like, you know, it's done. Right. Okay. Um. So, what's next for COA? 2023. Yeah. Just wait on it. We're, really, we're, we're literally already Planning for it. looking at budget from this year. Yeah. Um, looking at next year, what we want to do. Uh, got a meeting with the sponsors to see what they want from us, what we can get from them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, going through that, and then seeing what part is that we want to incorporate. Definitely, uh, our heavy hitters, the ones that you know were a big thing this year. We're gonna keep, you know, Jab mm-hmm. Juve, Wet Fat. The, the, just, those mm-hmm. just went crazy this yeah. year, so we're definitely looking at next year. Yeah, we're definitely looking next year to mm-hmm. to be doing both of those events again. We're trying to get off the rock, but you know how Jaw Jaw Jaw's children are. We're ignorant, so you know we ain't got the vaccines. So we're just waiting for things to ease up, so you guys can you know my hop, <laughs> sure. skip, and I so jump. So you sport is gonna be in Europe. No, no, no. I'm, for us, it's it's Canada. Canada. it could be in Canada. Canada for us as individuals, dropped. you know what I mean. We we need to leave the <laughs> island, you know, on an official basis, as in yeah. the group COA. Like okay, we haven't done that enough. in a while. Yeah, we just took on a bunch of ambassadors as well, you know. So outside of our the heads, like we have got other like partners, quote unquote, you know. Okay, so how does that work? The ambassadors. So the ambassadors is, is more or less like a representative of you, you know. Okay. So. So they have merch that they show They're, up in. Right. You know, so whenever we, we go to parties and stuff like that, once we do get our merch up up and running again, mm-hmm. um, cool, look. Yeah, you guys have got these shirts, whatever, hats, da 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 cool. Fucking got a group, and it's like, yeah, bang. Guys are going to this party next weekend or the end of the month, blah, blah, blah. All right, what's the uniform, you know? So it's almost like you got a whole army coming mm-hmm. out that's doing all the same vibe because we're all vibing the same way right and we're incorporating it with other people you know so why not have like-minded individuals that's going to be around you to help push that same brand yeah. you know my mom and, and as well as that is they, they help with promotion mm-hmm. um remember each person let's say that's each person example. knows 50 people right. and then that person is 50 people so it's, it's getting your name out there as well and our uh, in individual 
circles and then um just brand new words so with promotion you know we we say we throw a fly out or look forward to they can push it out to their people and right. their people push out their people so, different circles so it's just like you said what what little army like you know what i mean and then that's what we're trying to do that's it what's next for you individually other than coa me individual outside of coa um i work for bac i'm an insulator so i'm moving up the chain it works <laughs> So <laughs> um, I'm a DJ as well. So I'm um, I'm, a, I'm a master in the craft of DJing first, mm -hmm. um, and it's something. It's a discipline, so like everything else. Um, and and I'm I'm getting there where I feel very comfortable with with actually performing in front of people. I'm I'm had over twenty bookings already, so I'm I'm on my way. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm mean, only just started like last year. So, mm -hmm. um, but I understand music first. So it's it's just like parties. The same, the same principle of the throw party is how to DJ like, and um, it's a discipline that you have to keep reoccurring and reteaching yourself and replanning and refocusing. And it, it is time. And plus, we're in the army, so and then this COA stuff is a burden. We we'll say a burden, but it takes a lot of our time away. So, right. we're very busy individuals somehow at the end of the day. Um, but it's just a hey, putting your head down and just getting this thing done. Uh, in my last year, bro. I'm gonna be 30 next year, dog. Good job. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> April 1st. And it's not food. <laughs> I've been a food. I'm sick. That's no good. Uh, how about you, um, Shanta? To me, my next step right now. So, right now, I'm a primal health and wellness coach yes. and <laughs> medical assistant. Where's Jordan's? That where's Jordan. So, I'm about to make another Instagram, but like Jordan Nurse. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet <Sweet> nurse. <laughs> but um yeah, so I'm gonna go back to school um in the upcoming new year and take out this um certified event I'm sorry, what is it called? Certified nurses assistant advanced course. Okay. Um as well as probably gonna do like an EMT course, just qualifications hmm. um in the medical field that you know can strive and push me further type of thing and like you said like the coa is definitely a side is a big side hustle mm -hmm. um but also like we don't we don't pay ourselves from it you know right. so with that whatever no, no, money no, no. right you don't pay yourself from it yet yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure you put so the yet. right now it's coming. we whatever money we put in after the party you know we we get that back you know, and then go from there. But outside of that, it's just, yeah. All right. Two more questions. Um, What would you say to your future self five years from now? You can do it indiv individually or as CEO. It's up to you. Or like, you're saying Keep something. Keep going. <laughs> okay. just, you just yeah. so, like you're saying, like, when I'm, like, like 34, 35? 34, 35. Yeah, 35. so you're telling yourself something. No. <laughs> yeah, just think about it. Stick to the wicked. You know what I mean? Think, stick to the wicked. Do what you're doing. Improve anything that you possibly can, mm -hmm. and just don't, don't, don't be scared to try something new. You yeah. know what I mean? Take care of your knees. So apparently, you get thirty-five, you're screwed. Hey, <laughs> I had too much extracurriculars when I was younger, bro. Football. Football, uh, basketball, American football, scrambling. Take army. Care of your health, cousin. I've been in the army 16 years, but my knees are long gone. Yeah, the yeah. army will do it to you. Yeah. The army will definitely yeah. do it to you. Bike sure. accidents, all that. Yeah, but Jug is as tough as battles to his strongest yeah, service. I'm going stand firm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, lastly, where do you see yourself and your business in five years' time? I see us up here with. Some of the biggest promoters that we have in Bermuda now. In five years. I can't see why not. Yeah. In five years, like our parties that we throw now, I'll say like, I can't even say that they're minuscule because anybody could throw a party. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You could be throwing parties ever since you were 18 and now you're 30, but you've always been doing for house parties. So are you making profit off of that? Maybe. You might be charging people $5 to come in. And right. that could be just going towards the food that you're going to provide. But everyone's still got to be Y O B, You know what I mean? Or bring something to add to the bar. Or you could be the person that only throws birthday parties. You know, where 
every year you have a big birthday party. It doesn't mean that you can't now take your birthday and throw a half birthday party, you know, six months from your birthday and then mm-hmm. six months to your birthday. Each part is going to fund your next party pretty much. So what I would say, your first two parties come out of pocket and make sure that you make your profit. You know what I mean? Before you could dip into your profit to fund your next party where you don't have to touch your pocket anymore, you got to have that profit. But it takes money to make money yep. with that. But in five years, COA, like, if we stick on the path that we're going now and keep advancing and sticking to the wicket, like, I see us, like, eventually we could probably have a big, a big party. Like, you know what I mean? In five years, I'll say, yeah, we could, we could definitely have a big party if we're still around. Oh, we're we'll probably... I'll in five years, I'm, in five years, I'm be forty. You know, <laughs> as if you still want to party, you mean? No, no, no I'm gonna definitely still be party. Am I gonna be partying this hard? Maybe not. It might be a young, up and coming, eighteen year old up entrepreneur right now, with great needs, and has been coming to our parties doing this exact same thing. But he <laughs> might have a crew with him that wanna do the same thing now, like minded individual, mm-hmm. and now they're gonna be the new hot topic. They are gonna look at our parties like I ain't getting to them ill people's parties. I want to go to this party. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Different generations come with different music, come with mm-hmm. different at- attitudes, come with different attributes. So, in five years now, I'm not saying Soka's not gonna be here no more. You got new and upcoming Soka artists. I mean, but think about it. What he, what, what everybody says is what he, what he fresh is on the block up, right now. What he, right what now. he fresh kids on the block. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so everyone coming to our part is they're looking for the energy and stuff. I, I would say just keep maintaining what we always do, like, because we got a personality. If you look at it, Luke, like, If you look at it, we started this off in 2017. What was that? Five years ago. Okay. Somebody else starts off. Next yeah. year, January, in five years, they can be that new face. They could be the groovy. They could be the groovy COA. You know they what I mean? Be, they could be holding super, bougie. super dopey slow wines. Getting them down is all the way down to their knees. The bougie groovies. Yeah, one angle <laughs> don't make bumper. All <laughs> <laughs> that. So, but, yeah, man. Yeah. But that's what we're going to look at. Like, we're not big into competition either. Hmm. So, like, if we have a date of a party that we're going through and or as we're looking for dates, I should say, and we see as another party going on, unless, like, we know that we can still have our main group of followers coming to our parties, we're still going to stick to that. We leave, mm-hmm. we leave for the for the other promoter, like. And, and yeah. We're, oh, we're going to cut it. We, we show respect, date. like, well, yeah. we're, we're still new, and, and I, I really don't believe in, in competition after right. What thirty five thought? Well, sorry, seventy seventy thousand people. Yeah. Like it's it's too small here. We're, we're going to have to see yeah. um, democratic people. So I feel like we need to be smart and everyone just <laughs> have respect for each other as promoters. Like. Yeah. Would you say it was hard to do that party the night before cup match? Because that's a big party week in Bermuda. Yes. Yeah, so so the Thursday cup match mm-hmm. historically has been voodoo. Yeah. And what I mean by that is. Everyone is actually attempted to throw it, and we didn't know this until you know after, after. the fact. Like, um, see, Thursday, what, what that had big artists come for the mm-hmm. Thursday night, and no one showed up because of beach fest. So, what happens is that mm-hmm. people would actually go out, they go to the beaches, and they get destroyed by the sun, and they never make it to the Thursday night event. Right. Um, but this year, we what do you, like I said, what do you, new kids in the block? Well, they're still young, and um, I. Our demographic for the for the party was was kids. Well, I don't say kids, but like people yeah. in their twenties and stuff. College school, college people, twenties, thirties. Like it was a young people's party. Like mm-hmm. so, like all the young people decided they were just didn't show up. Yeah. And it's attractive because it was only a thirty dollar event. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. As you um, said earlier, the price. Yeah, so you're just keeping your event low. Like somebody yeah. else would have had that for seventy five to a hundred dollars yeah. right. for that same and event. Still wearing the bar. Right, so and because of yeah, the inflation. Because you look at it, it's that weekend, but at the same time, it's it's like carnival. Everyone's saving up two months they before to saying, yeah, carnival. Every ticket's almost a hundred dollars or a hundred plus. Yeah. You know, so you're ready to spend that. All right, yeah, seventy dollars. Bang, I'm in. You know, right. cup match. Everyone's ready, to, or somebody just yeah, stung was- crown and anchor. We're going up. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. We had a lot of people show up at the door, yeah. but we had a lot of people online. Like, 
mm. yeah tons of people online about half of the people bought online yeah and then like another half no no i see about 60 70 percent was online yeah. and then 30 percent was like cruise ship people and just mm. people walking in okay yeah that was your first time selling tickets online no mm-hmm. uh-uh okay. we we've done it with we sipping circle we would do yeah um just by namesake so you hit mm-hmm. us up personally or you get your account information or mm-hmm. um cash because it's a small party like a couple right. hundred people like it's, it's nothing like mm-hmm. but for a thousand people I've, i i'm not doing that <laughs> feet ticks i'll let you boy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um any questions for me guys black excellence mm-hmm. two major podcasts mm-hmm. what you said sorry is it was, that a, was that a question? Or? I'm just saying we, we, we made it. What, 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 we made it. We made it oh, what made yeah. us? What made us? Um, candidates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is candidates. it our, our melanin? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Um, like I've been trying to talk to people that I know. Like you know, because I know you guys from Army. Brand, huh? I know, brand. like. I'm comfortable with you guys, and then also it's like you. I know you guys are out there doing something, mm. and some people may not know that. Yeah, I don't know where my podcast is going, but it will be international at some point. So when someone listens to this, like, oh, these guys were on this podcast a couple Early. of years ago, Early. or they were at the beginning stages or something mm. like that. Yeah, so yeah, that's dope. It's like a mutual thing. So like, I'm gonna promote you, and then people gonna know my name because of because yeah, yeah, of you. yeah. Like, for you know sure, I mean? for sure. So, that's, that's how that's how things yeah. are getting out now. Word of mouth. Most definitely. You know, social media, word of mouth. Yeah. yeah. That's how it gets around. All right. Any other questions? Good. Mm, go ahead. All right. Thank you guys for coming through. I really appreciate Thanks for the invite. Appreciate you guys coming through and um see you guys at the next COA party. Absolutely. I may just show up.